Hey everyone, so today's video we're going to be talking about an LD that desperately needs a buff, and that is Dark Dragoness Rena. She is outclassed by so many heroes in this game. Um, you know, epics, red, green, blue, legendaries, maybe even some elites to an extent. <laughs> but uh, we are going to talk about her. She has like one or two applications right now in the meta, and she's still a really weak pick based on that. But I figure some people might only have one or two LDs and they were really unlucky and <laughs> pulled Dark Dragon as Rena. So I will talk about her, but, uh, but just fair warning, it's not a good talk. <laughs> so uh, she is an older character, which comes with a lot of the downsides of being an older character in Ace. Uh, older characters don't get a lot of love. They don't get a lot of buffs, and when they do get buffs, they're not really relevant. Um, you might have one or two heroes whenever they do a balance patch, have some kind of you know change in the needle. Uh, they have buffed Dark Dragon S Arena in the past, but it hasn't done much. So, uh, looking at her stats here, you can just see nothing impressive. Her attack, I don't know why they have an S stat here. Her attack is terrible. Her health is bad, and her defense is also bad. She's basically a piece of paper. Um, ideally, if she was a piece of paper, she would be kind of like a glass cannon, you know, just do a ton of damage um, and then just die. But she doesn't do a whole lot of damage. She's basically like, uh, it's not a glass cannon, she's basically like a, a BB gun. Uh, so that doesn't really make you feel good whenever it comes to an LD. But... Uh, We'll talk about her here a bit. So she does have weird masteries. <laughs> her, uh, she has a speed mastery and then true strike, which uh, I don't know. The true, it's weird. Ideally, this if this was an attack percentage ability similar to what you know, like Karma has or Atara, she might she might be a little more relevant. Uh, not really, just because the rest of her kit isn't very good but it would help uh, so she if you have her ascended one she can be fairly quick but the problem is that she's stat hungry so it's not really going to work out in in her favor even if she is ascended um so her trait is basically garbage she just gets a shield that's based on her max health and as we've already talked her health is bad um now if her health is really bad and the uh, enemy's heroes have positive effects on them. Her shield can be a little bit bigger, but as we've mentioned already before, she's basically a piece of paper, so it doesn't really matter. Um, when she's ascended, she gets uh, this effect that reduces the target's crit resistance by 30. Uh, now, again, this would kind of be good if her masteries weren't bad with True Strike. Uh, like, to add insult to injury, talking about <laughs> stat hungriness, Dark Dragon S. Rena has Ignite in her kit. Now, Ignite can crit, but the damage is based off of the character's attack. So, the True Strike helps in some regard, where you are able to not focus on crit, but because she has Ignite, you want a little bit of crit damage because the Ignites can crit. You see what I'm getting at here? It's just kind of all over the place. So if she didn't have True Strike, and she had Attack Percentage, and she was Ascended, I know a lot of things happening for her to kind of be okay. <laughs> but if all of that happened, and she was Ascended, right, you could then build her with 70% crit rate, and she would have decent crit damage, and she would have nice Attack Percentage, because her Mastery would give her that 40% Attack Boost. That'd be pretty good. Or at least more relevant. Um, but she doesn't. So uh, her trait is basically garbage. I would just disregard it. Um, her basic ability, however, is pretty good. It's like one of the best things about her kit. Uh, she has 75% chance to stun whenever she is booked. So that is strong. Uh, her passive ability is kind of what makes her relevant against two heroes. And that is uh, Adeline and uh, the light twin. And even then, okay, 
even then, it's situational. I'd say she's most relevant against the light, the light twin. Uh, Adeline is, she's she can be okay against because her ultimate uh, puts up unhealable, so it will trigger Adeline to switch modes if she does enough damage, and then she does an AOE silence on everybody, but not on Adeline. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and explain if we can find an Adeline, but it's a situational good thing against her. Long story short, good against the Light Twin. Light Twin is really scary. She's top five character in the entire game. So obviously if you have someone in the game that can do some damage against one of the top five characters, she has some relevance. So if anybody casts a non-attack ability, she counterattacks for 120% damage, removes a positive effect on somebody, and then has 100% chance to apply silence to them for a turn, and removes an additional positive effect if she's booked. So she kind of needs to be booked to make sure that the 100% chance lands, right? So we'll show that in action. Um, and then she has an ultimate ability that uh, is an, a <laughs> it's an AoE and it applies on healable and three stacks of ignite for two turns. Now, uh, this is okay. Uh, unhealable is a nice uh, debuff. The problem is, is it can be cleansed or removed. Whereas you have somebody like Des Desdemona that has a unremovable unhealable, that would make her a lot better. Um, the ignites is kind of the reason why she can be good against Adeline. If she goes before Adeline, ultimates, does enough damage where she puts up the unhealable and ignite, Adeline switches forms, and then uh, whenever she goes to attack or something like that, uh, the ignite triggers before she attacks. So there is a possibility that the ignite will kill her because uh, the unhealable is relevant because Adeline can counterattack and heal up some damage. That's why that's relevant. So that's how she's good. But <laughs> basically, this ultimate is not very good. Uh, you need to build her high focus to make sure that the silence and all of this stuff lands. So it's just really hard to get enough damage out of her uh, while having her basically be useful per how she's relevant, which is her passive, which requires focus. So yeah, that's why she's all over the place. So I just have her built in higher focus and her focus isn't even that good but higher focus <laughs> uh okay speed i mean you just i don't know how you how you're supposed to get the stats out of her right uh i have her in stun gear you know to try and get an additional uh benefit out of her counter attack and then in raptor gear and then on her uh, relics, you know, she has counterattack damage, she has uh, focus on ultimate ability, focus on her special ability when she counters, and focus on her stun ability, counterattack, a special ability crit damage, PvP health, basic ability focus, things like that, right? So, just quick little showcase on her in Arena. So, a team like this, you know, she's pretty good against Flarence, but Flarence is not really relevant in the meta the light twins where she's at sadly if she countered attack with any kind of positive effect she'd be pretty good against vengeful hassle but vengeful hassle does damage on his unkillable uh on his ultimate so that's not really relevant so we will bring her in here um against uh the light twin and uh we'll just show you know how she's kind of relevant here now her focus probably isn't high enough to uh, silence this vengeful hassle but if it was uh, it'd be pretty nice because uh, then she uh, she'll be able to silence the vengeful hassle so we can't ultimate so uh, we'll just do something like this uh, we do want her to activate her ability on uh, the light twin. So what we'll do here is we'll use her ultimate, put up the ignite and the unhealable. Oh, yeah, see, well, there you go. That's part of the problem. 
<laughs> that's definitely part of the problem. Uh, we'll, we'll just leave here. I don't care if he wins. Um, she just got one shot by Oderic. But anyway, <laughs> we'll jump back in so I can show show the counterattack and the silence. But uh, as you're already seeing, her being a piece of paper is kind of working against her, for sure. All right, let's try this again. Okay. Divine Yolanda. We will just try and stun the Vengeful Hassle. And then here, you'll see the Light Twin will put up her counterattack and stuff like that. And Dark Dragon Esrina will then remove everything, counterattack, and hopefully put up a silence. So here's the counterattack, removes the positive effects, and then she got three stuns. That is like the ideal scenario for this hero. And she had enough focus to silence the, uh, the Vengeful Hassle. So that's kind of good. But that's all she does, and now she's basically useless. Uh, all she'll do is uh, she'll try and stun people, you know, as we go. So there's a stun there. Now we can uh, put up her ultimate because uh, the Oderic is stunned. So now they can't heal. She gets to counterattack again against Florence. Players put up a negative effect on the SSA, and voila. So that that is literally, literally, basically the only application for her. Um, so she's good against Light Twin, and she's good against Adeline if we can find her. So no Adeline, no Adeline. Um... I guess maybe we could try her against Kelowna. So Kelowna will put up a uh, uh, control immunity on somebody so that uh, we won't be able to silence that hero, but she will counterattack and maybe silence the rest of the team. So this Oderic's going to go... Okay, go after the Divine Yolanda. I guess we'll try and kill. So the attack steal hurt us there. As you can see, like she's barely surviving here. She almost gets taken out by the uh... <laughs> by the light Nick. Sadly here, um, she's frozen, so she's not fast enough, so, so she's not going to be able to uh, counterattack whenever the control immunity goes up, so that's a bummer. But as you see here, I mean, like, she, she's not really relevant in this. Anybody would have been better than her in that scenario. <laughs> She's just kind of a disappointing character. Um, yeah, I wish I could show you Adeline. So I can't find an Adeline, guys. Uh, anyway, that's DDA. Not very good. <laughs> um, if you have her, I'm really sorry. Uh, I think the dev should buff her because she's just a terribly designed hero. Uh, and it's got to feel really bad whenever you pull her. But uh, that's all I got. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you.